Tonight, a little boy is dead, and investigators say his dad's girlfriend is responsible and maybe could have even prevented it. Eight on your side's Melanie Michael is on the case for us live at the Pinellas County Jail, where that mom remains tonight. This is an awful story, Mel. It certainly is, Jen. Good evening to you. That mom apparently had no remorse, according to police, when she was arrested, and she also has a history with DCF. It's a case that has Clearwater police heartbroken as they investigate the tragic death of a little boy, allegedly at the hands of this woman, Shantae Belcher. The child was just seven years old, and in the last hours of his life, documents show he was suffering and alone with Belcher and her kids in the next room. It's a, it's a very sad thing. It's very difficult when you're talking about a child that's seven years old that won't be able to go outside and play anymore or play football or do the things that he loves uh, because somebody failed to uh, take the appropriate action they should as a parent or as a mother or as a human being. The mom was arrested Sunday night. That's when Clearwater police say she admitted she knew something was wrong right from the start. According to the arrest report, the boy fell asleep on his bedroom floor around 8.30 Saturday night and Belcher was unable to wake him up. So police say she left him there, even though her own son told her the child was gasping for air. The first thing that you would do is render that medical aid to ensure that child's safety and well-being. Detectives say the mom made her own 10-year-old son help drag the boy's body into a bathtub of cold water where she left him for nearly 10 hours until Sunday morning. The report shows she finally called the boy's father, then dialed 911, but it was too late. The child was pronounced dead at the hospital. And Jen, as you mentioned, that mom is behind bars tonight here at the Pinellas County Jail. The autopsy results are not back just yet. Police say they are currently waiting on them. I'm Melanie Michael reporting live tonight in Pinellas County. Eight on your side.